The Safari Rally, Kenya's motorsport game, whose folklore supersedes that of any other sporting event save the Olympics, has a long and rich history dating back to the Queen of England's coronation. The rally is a reminder of Kenya's once promising potential as an aspiring economic powerhouse and a major global sporting destination in the first two decades of independence, but a living testament of lost opportunities through poor leadership. At one time, the Safari Rally was among the top, and we lost that, we want that back in Africa. I'm very nostalgic actually about the Safari Rally. It was as if it was, uh, you know, hours and hours alone. We didn't believe that it happened anywhere else. And so it was part of the identity of our country, and we're all very, very proud of the rally. I just want to say on a personal perspective that I grew up in Kenya, watching all those drivers there whizzing past our house in Mayaki Way on the way to their stages. The rally was part of the World Rally Championship for many years, until 2002 when it was asked for lack of finance, government support, lack of commercial sponsorship, poor safety, security, and population explosion on most rally routes, among other issues. As far as Aden Motorsport fans are concerned, Easter was never the same again without the Safari Rally, once hailed as the world's toughest battle, pitting money machine on one hand and the unforgiving terrain on the other. The event's return was paid on its financial stability and the government's commitment to securing the sufficient funds to provide a stable and long-term platform on which to build the event in the future. My administration is committed to supporting rallying in Kenya and indeed like so many Kenyans, I personally am confident that not only will this safari rally be a full series event, but also at some stage the Kenyan flag will also feature on a winning podium. I think we've had uh, great support from the government and the government continues to be the real supporter of this uh, process and this event. The fans around the globe, yeah, they have a great appetite for the safari to come back. Yeah. But this does not mean they all remember exactly how it was 18 years ago. Build on the memory of what the safari was 20 years ago, but mm -hmm. translated into what is Kenya, what is rally sport in Kenya today. The journey back to the WRC calendar has been tough. Even after initiatives from different government entities, only leaving the corporate world to support the rally and other motorsports in the country. For us to achieve this, I continue to call on corporate sponsors, and I thank especially KCB and all private sector stakeholders to join hands with government in supporting the emergence and growth of this rallying talent that we have. The government, through the Ministry of Sports, is eager to lend a hand whatever support that the industry and sponsors may require. Efforts by the former rally driver, Phineas Kimathi, who has been consistently lobbying for the return of the rally to the World Championship Series, started to take shape, especially after his appointment to Chairman of Kenya Motorsport Federation and his later appointment as a representative of organizers in the powerful FIA, World Rally Championship Commission. We will look for the safety, of course. We will look for the, the suitability of the stages for the WRC because, as you know, in the past when we were driving here, the roads were not closed. And now for the WRC and for the safety, it, they have to be closed. So the format is, of course, different. We want to achieve uh, um, you know, concurrence that uh, our organization meets the World Rally Championship standards and also meet the FI safety standards. It's always these challenges to look after and it's also to put on the best stages that you possibly can. And the hours are muddy and slippy, but they're fast, they're challenging, they're narrow, they leave no room um, for, for error or anything like that. And that's the, the thing you're always looking for. And that's what we're looking for while we're here as well for the next five to six days. UK-based MSA trainers conducted training for over 300 marshals for two months on safety aspects of the rally, including vehicle extraction techniques at the Safari Rally headquarters in Kasarani, Kenya. Kasarani has dedicated a section to automotive sporting. We are also going to talk about safety and establish a dedicated safety area within that ground so that all those people who need to learn how to drive properly, 
how to keep the traffic rules, and even for the younger people to learn what do you need to do on the road should there be this or the other situation. The FIA is reportedly open to the idea if only Kenya Motorsport Federation can secure financial and safety guarantees from the Kenya government. Michelle agreed too that she was not going to leave this country until they have been able to identify the routes and until she has promised us that uh, everything is going to be okay. We will try to find the best route we can during this week and um, then we wish good luck for the, for the event in the calendar. From the promoter's point of view, we, we do not see any obstacles that cannot be taken and be, be advanced for next year. But in all fairness, let's, let us give the colleagues from the FI a chance now to review the documents, to put it together, to sit together with the rally department back home and make a proper analysis and report and, and come back with a, a, a recommendation. 2019 is an indicator that Africa and Kenya will be returning to the WRC fold come 2020. So this weekend will be a do or die to ensure that on Monday we get a clean, a clean report on our preparedness to move to the next level, which is World Rally Championship. Timothy said the safety, medical and sporting delegates will present reports to various commissions of the FIA where further analysis will be conducted, after which recommendations and decisions will be effected in regards to the future of the rally. And we'll be looking at, uh, at the aspect of uh, organization, safety, medical, evacuation and uh, the general organizational aspect. If we are certain that uh, everything is right, then um, we will wait to welcome uh, the FIA technical delegate uh, on safety to actually look at our plan and give us uh, a thumbs up or tell us if we need to do more. This year's event featured 51 crews who were flagged off by President Uhuru Kenyatta at the Moi International Sporting Center Kasarani in Nairobi on 5th July. Four, three, two, one, and they're up, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the top drivers who participated in this year's candidate event hailed from Zambia, Uganda, Tanzania and Kenya. I think Kenya has done a fabulous job to bring this back and to make this happen. This is a wonderful thing. After the culmination of the candidate event, Sisla admitted that the WRC has over the years lacked the jungle sort of racing which places the Kenyan round of the FIA African Rally Championship in a good position to return to the apex of motor rallying. And what we do not have today is Maybe a rally, a jungle rally, the safari rally. These are still stories that could contribute to that portfolio of stories. And in that regard, it's a strong asset. And uh, we have a big appetite to have these pictures in, the, in, in our uh, annual calendar, for sure. The World Rally Championship deserved an event in Africa. So I know you will do everything you can to be at the level of the FIA. And I know, also I can tell you that it's not easy. So you will have to work very hard, but I'm sure you will do it. The Minister of Tourism and Wildlife, Najib Balala, hailed the 2019 rally as a very successful event and expressed optimism in its return to the World Rally Championship. We started this a long time ago. I was the Minister of Sports 2003 and we started this campaign, but it's a long journey. Now we are here. We hope uh, the FIA and also the World uh, Rally Championship and approve Kenya 2020. We are ready, we are capable, we are competent, and we have a good uh, government support. So we look forward for 2020 uh, event. Overall, we are happy with the spectators. Mm -hmm. They really behaved, and our marshals mm -hmm. must, you know, applaud mm -hmm. them for a job well done, yeah, okay. and the safety team. All right. They did a great job. The 2019 Safari Rally was run as a WRC candidate event with the noble objective to be back by 2020 and will be key in the government's calendar of events. Well, there was a lot, of, a lot at stake mm -hmm. because this is our step, step up to the WRC. Mm -hmm. We had to pull this one out yeah. to get to the WRC calendar, back to on to the WRC calendar. This is a very important event because uh, uh, this year we are a candidate event of the World Rally Championship. It's the only candidate event that is running in the world, which means uh, that uh, if we run a good event, 
uh, we stand a big chance to return back to the World Rally a Championship come the year 2020. Kenya is a candidate for the World Rally Championship to return to this country. It means a huge amount of, uh, it's good for the global significance of Kenya for this event to return home. Fans around the world have an appetite of the safari coming back. This means we will showcase our flora and fauna, thus making the world remember the picture of Kenya currently and years to come. It doesn't help us to look back at why we lost the event, but how we can present the event in the future.